to you wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa, and they take on Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Buendia. A very timely interception. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Esri Konza starts alongside Tyrone Mings in central defence. Bubakar Kamara starts alongside Douglas Luis in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Can they convert? In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Emiliano Buendia in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here McGinn and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well slightly off target and that'll be a throw in Bailey and Bailey giving the ball away now who can he play it to well it was a promising avenue of attack but the momentum has been halted and you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out so we have an early booking here to report Stuart yeah I think the referee's out there he's not going to take any messing about here tantalising free kick he was hoping for goalkeeper's ball good movement Bailey and the snuffing out of the cross there This might be ideal for the counter. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Plenty of support here. Oh, he's through here. The well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Losing possession a bit easily. Leon Bailey. Emiliano Buendia. And do they mean business on this occasion? That's well blocked. And that'll be Aston Villa's ball.
Chance to cross. McGinn. Oh, a fine block. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. White. Now with Jesus. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But the danger averted for now. Douglas Luiz. They couldn't maintain possession. Jesus. Now Zinchenko. It's with Douglas Luiz. Might be able to produce from this position. Wendia. McGinn. Well, the supporters think it's on. And offside, well, close one. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Moving again, 2 0 is how it stands. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And a poor ball. And support available. Gabriel Jesus. Bailey. He's given it straight to the opposition. Bubakar Kamara. Ollie Watkins. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, the counter chance looks very real. All hands on deck. here well I have to say this is a really good goal just look how well balanced he is he knows he's going to be under pressure but he shows great composure to hit the target So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Alex Moreno, a fine block, 
And it's going to be a Villa throw. Oh, he's lost possession. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. That is how to apply the pressure. And a throw in for Arsenal. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And he read it superbly. Buendia. It's with Douglas Luiz. Ollie Watkins. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And half-time it is, and par for the course, really. Arsenal leading. Arsenal with the best away record in the league, as we mentioned earlier, Stuart. Well, that first 45 shows you why they have such a good away... So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Strong play here. Regained possession. Jesus Thomas Partey Now oh, they've given him too much space Has a go it Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper Trying to deliver it accurately. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Partey. Not showing good defensive judgment. Good technique displayed. The supporters want to see him have a go. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Leon Bailey. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Leon Bailey, Bubakar Kamara, and now Coutinho, Bailey, and the snuffing out of the cross there. Thirty minutes to go then. Lost possession. Jesus. Now in possession, Trossard. Trossard. 
Gabriel Jesus. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Now, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Quendia. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. So, making the substitution now. Number three, Kieran Tierney. Coutinho has a go, and there is the goal. He's found the net, joy unconfined. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. continues and no shortage of goals 3-1 as things stand Bukayo Saka it's with Erdogan good looking sequence but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Leon Bailey Douglas Luiz now with Bailey and with that the attack fizzles out Granit Xhaka good work to win it back high up the pitch that's useful play but he knew he had to get to the ball and he did Douglas Luis. Buendia. Nice looking pass. Young. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Tossard. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Shielding the ball superbly. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Coutinho. Douglas Luiz. I must say, this looks promising. And the flag has gone up, offside. Saka, dangerous looking through ball and it's Gabriel Jesus he read the situation defensively and did his job space afforded him and the advantage accrues to the attacking side played into the box and closed down straight away bodies forward and the break looks on Trossard and space available inside and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it and there's the delivery well, not the best clearance. It's opening up for them. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, threat over for now. Watkins. Can they hit on the break? Oh, 
And possibilities inside the box. Terrific block. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. <laughs> oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Granit Xhaka. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Is it going to be Granit Xhaka? And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, that was another excellent away performance. They played out from the back without taking risks. They controlled the midfield and the front players. Yes, a really...